Dear students, we are now commencing with a series of lectures on the topic Scheduling by PERT and CPM. Introduction To learn about PERT and CPM, first of all we should know the definition of a project because for project we have to evaluate the PERT and the CPM. So what is a project? A project is defined as a combination of interrelated activities, all of which must be executed in a certain order to achieve a set goal. So this is known as a project. A large and complex projects involves usually a number of interrelated activities. The activities involve resources like time, money, men, machines and materials. A systematic scientific approach has become a necessity for such projects. Now these projects can be solved by using a technique known as network analysis. This network scheduling technique further has various methods of calculating the scheduling problem. Now here we are going to learn the two prominent methods the one is PERT and the other one is CPM. Where PERT is Program Evaluation Review Technique and CPM stands for Critical Path Method. Now these two methods are used to solve a network scheduling problem. This scheduling problem is applied in the fields like construction of buildings, maintenance, installation, etc. There are three phases of management in a network scheduling technique. They are planning, scheduling and control. So now let us see them one by one. So remember there are three phases of management. The first phase is planning. So now what is planning? Listing the jobs to be completed in a project. And the duration of various activities and resources like men, materials are also determined in planning. So first and foremost, we have to lift, list out the jobs that are to be completed. And then the duration of the activities, okay, how long an activity will happen. So that has to be determined. And how many resources we need and what are the resources we require. So resources like to complete the job, we need materials, we need missions and we need men to work on it. So they are the resources. We also need money. We also need time. So all these will come under planning. So first we have to list out what has to be done with the jobs and the resources. So that has to be listed out. The second is scheduling. Under scheduling, Laying the activities according to proper order of the jobs, that is, in a logical sequence, after which job, which job has to be carried out. So that has to be scheduled. Like for building, uh, uh, for the construction of a building, first we have to lay out the basement. So after that, we have to proceed further with the other activities. So. Uh, putting the jobs in a logical sequence will come under scheduling and also the starting and finishing type times of each activity is determined under scheduling. So when we carry over a, an activity, how long that activity may take, when we need to start the activity and when we can finish the activity will all be determined under scheduling of the project. So we have seen planning and scheduling and then comes the control of the project. So under the control, reviewing the project and making period periodical progress will happen. That is how far the project has been proceeded and what are the periodical progress of the project. So all that will be reviewed and also analysis and uh, we have to analyze it and then take the remedial measures. So what is lacking in the project, how fast the project has to be taken over. So all that will be analyzed and the remedial measures will be taken under the control phase. So these are the three phases of a project. 
and in particular pertin cpm are much especially useful for scheduling and controlling phase of the management of the project so therefore in this video we have learned what is a project and what are the techniques involved to uh, solve a project that is pert and cpm and what are the phases of management of a project which were three that is planning scheduling and control in our next video we shall learn some basic definitions and terminologies which are very beneficial under network analysis thank you